Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. PDP gave Mary Orderly 100 billion to overthrow justice against our candidate in Bayesa Ushomole. PDP gave Mary Orderly 100 billion to overthrow justice against our candidate in Bayesa. Mr. Oshomole has made the intention of the party known that they will overturn the judgment of the Apex Court by calling for a review of the ruling. This development has brought more agitation in the party, yet some of the party stewards are calling for the resignation of Adams Oshomole, saying it was his in incompetence that cost the party the election in Bayesa State. Remember, this morning, the youth of the party stormed the secretariat with placards and written notes saying, Oshomole must go, Oshomole go home. Oshomole, however, has called a conference saying PDP was, has given 100 billion to Mary to overthrow their candidate, that it was not his incompetence that has caused what happened. Why members of the opposition party, PDP, reprimanded the chairman of the statement he, he made after the APS court judgment that there won't be any handing over in the state. The alleged statement triggered the violence protests that were caused out by supporters of David Leonard. You know, the statement he made that come Friday, when that was when Leonard was um, inaugurated, Bayesa State will cease to have a governor, led to the massive protests in the state. We had some of Leonard's um, followers rioted, and it led to and it led to serious unrest in the state. Meanwhile, the latest development of APC is that the youths of the party came to the secretariat this morning as early as. 11 a.m., you can refer back to my previous news and hear what they said. And they were all, remember this morning, the youth of PDP came out with placards and we are all saying, Ushomole must go home. He should go home. I don't think Bayesa State is the only um, state they have issue with that um, APC has lost. And it's not just Ushomole's problem. It is the party problem. Because come to think of it, APC has done more harm than good. What is going on in the country is beyond Oshomole. It's beyond um, the youth just saying it is the leader, the main leader of the party. We're talking about the person of Buhari, the head of Boko Haram, that has cost the country where it is today. So asking Oshomole to go is not the issue. Oshomole is just following his, his master's footstep. Oshomole is not your issue. Your issue is Buhari. Have you heard his voice? He has set the ball in motion and is causing all their heads to, to, to hit together. Guys, wake up. All of you that are sitting be behind uh, Buhari and eating the Nigerian money and um, all our assets, get ready. You will pay for exactly what you are doing because Buhari is not out to make Nigeria any better. He has evil intention against the country. You can, hear, you can hear him saying he's selling, sending condolences to those that have been affected by Boko Haram, but that nobody should, have, should touch them. If anybody touches them, they will face the full wrath of the law. But guess what? But if Boko Haram keep people, you tell them, I'm sorry to hear what happened. Again, if somebody steals, you put him in jail for three years. But Boko Haram kills and you put him in a program for six weeks, feed him and bring him back, said he has been repented, he's a repented a criminal, he should be integrated back into the society. society. In what state, country or government is that done? He goes to tell you that there is more to this than what they, that is beneath the eyes. They, are, they know their leader. They know that they have a solid back, backing in the person of Buhari. Hence, they are doing what they are doing. They are not just doing it too. They are carrying it out with confidence because of who is backing them. 
They are carrying it out in confidence because of who is backing them. It has not gotten to their doorsteps. That's why they are all keeping quiet. But guess what? The snake that they are taming and using as a, the, the snake they are taming and using as a pet will be the thing that will come back and bite every one of them. The same snake will come back and bite every one of them. Don't worry, oh, give it time. Time will tell. It will tell of the evil that is, that is happening now in Nigeria and how every one of them are keeping quiet and watching the nation, people, lives, property being destroyed daily and none of them is saying anything. It will get to their doorstep, I promise you. It will get there. It will get there. You know, APC is clamoring for uh, uh, Shomole to resign. Shomole is diverting the attention that PDP bribed. That's why and they got their way. Did they bribe in the, the other states that they've taken, taken over from PDP, from uh, APC? Did they as well bribe? So they just carried on. They had 100 billion that they have been circulating all around. Nigerians, wake up and stop and stop allowing these politicians to use you and to just, you know, bamboozle you. Don't see, guys, stop fighting for any politicians. They don't care about you. All they care about is their pockets and their tummy, not any Nigerian. They are there to serve themselves and themselves and themselves alone, not the common man on the street, not what you heard in the manifesto. So don't be deceived. Don't be so gullible. Don't let them deceive you. They know exactly what they are doing. They know their mission, their aim, and, their, and where they are heading to. You know, you can see as, assets of Nigerian be, being seized and the nations of the world are telling you Nigerian money is here and there. That is because your government stole them and put them there. Exactly. They will even steal the money. They will not even invest it back in Nigeria. Can you see how foolish they are? They take it to outside the nations of the, of the, of the shores of the country making graduates people in the country are suffering yet they are carrying the money that belongs to all nigerians they steal from the state from the local government from the council and they use it for their own personal gain okay that's bad enough why not even invest it in nigeria and employ nigerians to work in your factory to work in your whatever, whatever establishment at least that will provide some means of um, job security for those people you know and they will even bless you so that Nigerians don't ask for too much. Oh. I'm not condoling their stealing, but I'm saying that even if they stole this money, they open industries and facilities and employ Nigerians. Nigerians would be grateful to them. You would have created sorts of employment for that people, for those people in that area, and they will be grateful to you. Every day they go to work, they will be grateful to you. So why steal the money and take it outside the shores of the country and begin to, you know, lavish this money that belongs to the whole country on yourself and your family alone. It's not done. It's not. So Nigerians, this is what is going on. You know, uh, 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 is, is pointing fingers, is diverting attention from them that uh, PDP bribed. That's why they had the upper hand. The PDP also bribed for uh, Ihedua's case to be reviewed again. What was decided upon by the by the um, by the uh, by the uh, uh, Supreme Court? The PDP also bribe. Things are changing because your government is failing. APC is not doing anything rather than killing Nigerians. Your government is seriously failing, and we all know that. So stop pretending like you are doing something and the people are against you. No, you are just reaping what you are sowing. You are not a government for the people. You are the government for yourself, for your pockets and yourselves alone. So, my people, that's what is happening. Buhari has surrounded himself with these thieves, you know. Many of them, even sultanans, they are all there, you know, not speaking of the truth. Defending Buhari when, when the sultanans speak against what is happening, you know. They just open their mouth and they just speak rubbish. They just say what is not right, you know. Speaking against the sultanans, where they came from. Why? They've been giving money for their own tummy, for themselves. You know, money, they say, is the root of, of all evil. So you see money, uh, is the root of all evil. We thought Jonathan was, uh, was bad. Buhari. <laughs> Jonathan was the best compared to Buhari. Seeing Buhari, you know that is a complete failure. The name Buhari is failure, unless you bring. We really need that. We really need, we really need this investigation to be done to ascertain indeed that is you bring that is really Nigeria that is not even a Nigerian. That Jubrim is the person. You know, 
We really need this to be done. So my people, this is what is going on right now. Oshomole has started pointing fingers in another direction. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in the country. Thanks for listening. God bless and bye.